so uh, this question was asked in gate 2015 and it is a very simple question which is based on static variables okay now let us uh, try to execute this program and uh, let us find out what is the output here okay so here program execution will start from the main function so this is the main function but before that let us just see we are having a global variable this x is a global variable this x is a uh, local variable here this static x is a local variable here here it is calling a global variable here and it is a local variable here okay so now let us try to execute this program in this program uh, in the in main function in line number 1 we are having an integer x is equal to 1 so this x is a local variable here so x is 1 now in line number 2 we are calling uh, these statements and if you see which one of these function will execute first is dependent on the associativity of this plus operator okay because all if the, uh, if you see all these plus operators they all are having the same precedence but uh, which one to execute will be decided by the associativity of this plus plus operator uh, here the associativity of this plus operator is left to right that means we are first first of all we are going to Uh, execute this left function, and then we are will go to the right functions, right side values. So initially we are going to execute the f1 function. So control will pass to the x f1 function. In the f1 function, uh, we are having a int x is equal to 25, right? So this is a local variable for this function, and it is storing the value 25. And then we are doing x plus plus. That means we are incrementing the value of this x. So it is going to make it 26, and then we are returning the value of x. right that means this going to return this value 26 to this f1 function here so here this f1 is 26 okay then we are going to execute this f2 function in the f2 function uh, control will pass to the f2 function and here uh, we are having a static integer x right this is a static variable so uh, this let us suppose this is a static x and it is storing the value 50 in the next line we are doing x plus plus that means we are going to increment this value so this value will become 51 and then we are going to uh, return this value therefore this 51 value will be returned to this f2 function so it is going to turn 51 and then we are going to execute this f3 function and in this f3 function we are doing x multiplication assignment is equal to 10 right so this statement can be written as x is equal to x plus 10 and sorry x multiplied by 10 and this x is a global variable right because it is not defined between these braces but here uh, this x is uh, defined in all these braces these braces and this is a global variable right so the value of x is 10 so this x uh, this statement will make x as x is equal to x into 10 which is going to make this x from 10 to 100 so this global variable x is now 100 and then we are going to increment this value here so this x will now be 101 and then we are going to return this value so this this is going to return the value which is 101 and then again we are calling the f2 function so in the f2 function uh, we use this static static variable so that means we do not uh, we do not need to initialize this variable again so we we are just going to use a previous value and the previous value was 51 and then we are going to increment this value here so this value will be incremented to 52 and then we are going to return this value so it is going to return the value which is 52 right now if you add all these statements you will find out this complete statements uh, addition is uh, 26 plus 52 plus this is 152 which is going to give me 26 plus 204 which is going to give me uh, 26 230 okay and then it is going to return this value 230 to this s x fun x and the value of x here is 1 so it is going to make it x is equal to x plus 230 which is going to make it x is equal to 1 plus 230 therefore the value of x will be 231 so it is going to print the value which is 231 okay